here we are at the conclusion of our Singapore Open 1 for the 2017-2018 season and we will be casting the final set played between Chelsea Tan from Singapore against the last of our player standing it is Mohamed Hafiz from Indonesia yep here at CGF um, on a beautiful Sunday afternoon um, we should be commencing the match relatively shortly and uh, who do you think will have the advantage in terms of um, team team matchup it's hard to say in terms of team matchup because thus far Hafiz hasn't really found himself needing to handle things such as the tailwind mm. threat as along with fake out support next to it which Chelsea does have both on her team so it's not the, so far we've seen her adjust to threat such as trick room and in certain, certain, in certain matchups as well uh, hyper offense but yeah. he's dealt with them pretty handily with his own collection of uh, Pokemon on his team but some of Chelsea's Pokemon do offer a unique threat that we haven't seen him address I mean we've seen him have answers to virtually everything so far mm. so We'll see what he has for Chelsea's team, and in terms of play, you have to, it has to be pointed out that Hafiz has been playing impeccably today in both top 8 and top 4. He's just made such all the good plays. He hasn't dropped the game today, and he's at times he's made his opponents seem totally out of their league when against him. Mm. In contrast, I wasn't impressed with how Chelsea played the previous set. <laughs> she got bailed yeah. out in game 2, and in, and in game 3, both players just somehow were both didn't perform up to standard. Both players, if I, yeah, I would describe it anyway, they were, they were both bending over each other trying to give each other the win. It was like Chelsea was like, here, take it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll your your Richardian Porygon. And Ellen's like, no no no, I don't want to set up this turn. You can take the win again. And Chelsea's like, no you have it. And Ellen's like, you have it. And Chelsea's like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and okay, that's the win. And that's the finals. So Ooh. Chelsea's gonna have to step up a game. Mm. That was not optimal play. For both players to draw it out. So Chelsea can't be faulted by for Ellen's lack of ability to play to his full potential. Well I can attribute lack uh Ellen's ability to uh, lack of ability to perform to um, very distinct personality trait that he has that he's easily tilted yeah, of course yeah. well that is enough said about but the semi-finals we'll be going into the finals here with Chelsea's team of the Tapo Fini Arcanine oh okay not enough time even Bravery, but Bravery Celestila, Togedemaru and the Gachom and Hafiz's Hav team is the Tapo Lele Arcanine Mandibas Buzzwall Nihiligo and the Snorlax hmm, I wonder how the Buzzwall will fare I mean it hasn't really been uh, threatened by that 4 times weakness to flying very often uh, given the way how the meta has shifted. Chelsea's gonna open with Gachom Celestila mm. up against Nihiligo Snorlax and that's just an uh, invitation for the Snorlax to start cursing. And uh, Chelsea doesn't really have good answers to that unless Nihiligo can come in and encore it. Uh, yes. Nihiligo, sorry. Unless Togedemaru can come in and encore it. Um, it is, has to be said that the Gachom is a Scarf variant so does not really offer Tectonic Rage as well. Yes. Um, but it is really tempting to press Earthquake because of the Nihiligo on Hafiz's side. At the same time though, Rock Slide uh, you can try to stop the oh uh, Snorlax from cursing. We were speaking of optimal plays. <laughs> Rock Slide would be arguably uh, not the ideal play here. So that's your ne. Well then, what would Celestila do? Would it want to stay? Is there's nothing the really that threatens us. Chelsea there, of course, is to get the beast boost of Celestila by doubling to Nihiligo. But mm. Hafiz recognizing that Buzzwell might come in here. It Ooh, is the Buzzwell. Buzzwell okay. does not fear anything on the field right now, unless Gachom locks itself into. How fire, heavy is Buzzwell as comparison to uh, yeah, Gachom just goes to the earthquake, so a better play at least. So the chunk the Snorlax and tickle the Buzzwell. That's a decent amount of Snorlax actually. Now it is Adamant Gachong you expect. Mm -hmm. At least he does land on Snorlax, but still not. I don't think Hafiz is, is planning to offer any offensive threat on the Celestia just yet. And he's gonna curse with the Snorlax, mm. so Gachong's slowly gonna be less and less of a threat. And as long as Hafiz is able to recycle, which we actually have not seen on his Snorlax thus far. Mm. <laughs> but, but the fact that he was willing to get Leech <coughs> Seeder makes you wonder. Yep. Um, also, it uh, has to be said, the defense boost on Curse should go a long way to be able to sponge most of uh, Chelsea's attacks here on the field. Yeah, uh, at this point, there's only one There's only one special attacker on Chelsea's team, which is the Tapo Fini. Mm. And Tapo Fini needs multiple boosts to start threatening a Snorlax. In the meantime, Snorlax already has the plus one, and we have seen it carry Double Edge, and it could start taking things off the field. Yeah, so it doesn't really need another boost. That uh, being said, Double Edge into the Gachom is <laughs> not the fun thing to use. It's a lot of HP, All right, a lot of recoil, and there is Rough Skin. Yes, and Arcanine will come in, reducing that Snorlax attack, as well as reducing Buzzwell. So, um, it has to be said that Buzzwell carrying the Z Crystal is looking to absolutely blow something out. Uh, oh, okay, I spoke too soon. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I'm not entirely sure why he protected there. Gachom was locked into Earthquake. Ooh, okay, we do see why. Celestia actually but carries the flame Flamethrower, flame though. There was a chance of free damage there for Hafid's side. True. And Double Edge is going to bring Arcan down into the orange, allows Snorlax to eat its berry. So, at least he's going to take once again. Yes. I think leaving the Celestila alone is fine because. That being said, though, Chelsea is not going to have access to a berry with the Arcanine because Ar Snorlax is going to KO it with the next hit. Yeah. Because even if you take Recoil, it can go for high horsepower. Hmm. 
Yes, I was saying, I mean, I think it's wise for Hafiz to ignore the Celestina because any sort of chip damage that he does will be meaningless in in the fact that Lee will be healing it up. So he, I think, should be aiming for the one-hit KO, which can be achieved with the Fighting MZ all up coming from the Buzz Wolf. Yeah, not anymore, I'm not sure, so yeah, with the increase in attack, the, the Intimidate drop. So I guess a switch out should be in order for Hafiz. So Chelsea wants to catch that. She wants to try and heavy slam to the Buzz Wolf slot, try and catch a Night Legal coming in. Yes. Night Legal comes in for free. Chelsea is in trouble. Well, Hafiz does have a uh, fourth Pokemon that we have yet to be s uh, yet to see, so that could also come in lightly. Oh, I, I hope it's not that they, they, they will not enjoy taking a heavy slam. Could be yeah, alternatively it's, it's, the yeah, Arcanine. You have, you have to think it's maybe it's the Tapu Lele and the Nihilu at the back. But it's just going to be super power raw into the Arcanine, I think. That's going to be the KO, even with the Intimidate. A very good play. Hafiz catching the Arcanine off and getting the Beast Boost to reset his attack to actually minus 1. Yeah, yeah. but the def lower defense could come back to bite it as Heavy Slam should go into but Buzzle Heavy once again. Much to buzzle at all. Hmm. Yeah, we, Chelsea we, just we tried we'll to see. catch the switch, I think. We'll see. That's going to be the Heavy Slam to Buzzle. Yeah, Buzzle is as heavy as Celestina. <laughs> Look all at that those. muscles, man. Look at oh, those. Oh, but double edge goes into Celestina. Ah, that's really not a lot of damage. I don't think Hafiz minds, but I suppose he would have liked to have gotten another curse in. Yeah, and as mentioned, Celestina is just going to heal back up with his levels and take some from Snorlax. Thank you very I much. I think Hafiz was trying to catch the Arcanine switching out and doubling into the slot, hoping the the Gachom the would have gone down to a double up. Yeah, likely. And uh, so Fini probably would have taken it. Actually, Fini taking a plus one double up. Ooh. Oh, he neutral after the curse, after the intimidate. Um, neutral. But they now, the now it's going to be Fini and well, Fini does threaten the Buzz Wall. Snorlax is now no Free longer to body it, yeah. both Snorlax and Buzz Wall are now no longer threatened by a potential uh, Intimidate since Darkline is down. Hmm. I, I mean think he wants to bring out the Buzz Wall here clearly. Yes. yes. But uh, once again, Chelsea has called that she's willing to heavy slam to that slot, and I don't think Hafiz has a safe switch in, so he might have to sacrifice his status, his Nihiligo Sash, or the Tapu Lele, Lele entirely. entirely. I I I think At this go point. I think you might throw the Tapu Lele unless you think you need it for the Gachon, since it is Scarf. I argue uh, Nihiligo doesn't really offer that much. I mean, what can it really do to the Celestila? I guess Tapu Lele can't really touch Celestila. Nihiligo does take down uh, the Tapu Fini. Ooh, okay, but another Protect coming in. Fini protects as well. Nah, does Hafiz call it and go for a curse though? Or maybe a Recycle even. I mean, Maybe slam into the Bout's World slot once again. Recycle? Double H into, into, into the Fini slot. Fini. Yeah, so a wasted turn, well not that wasted, Celestila. Saps more health from Snorlax here. Yeah, Snorlax on timer if he doesn't, if he isn't able to recycle and you're beginning to wonder whether he has to recycle. Mm. And it's I mean, clearly his fourth, his fourth slot is not wild charge. Or he probably would have gone for it there. Still though. Uh. Actually no, wild charge actually is the same base power as double edge. I mean, yeah, you hit and super effectively. A, and you can't hit Gachom, so actually wild charge wouldn't be optimal there. Ooh, Buzzle though. Uh, I mean, now in terms of speed, yeah, he is faster. Now, the thing here though is that Chelsea probably wants to double the Buzzle slot, right? In case the Buzzle stays in? Yes, likely. The Snorlax can, I think, be safely in not. I'm not sure a double... Here oh. is the Fighting M though. All out pumping from the Buzzle. Fastest thing on the field. He Even with the Intimidate, he just wants to throw it out. Recognizing that this could be his last turn on the field. Ooh. And if he gets enough damage on the Celestila, a Specs nearly Thunderbolt could finish the job. Well, if the if the double H from the Snorlax follows up, maybe oh, but the problem is that Not just that, the problem is that Stelis is going to heal too much from the Leech Seed. Yeah, he has to take it out this turn. He's not going to, that's going to be about 50%. Oh man. That's ex what we expected mm -hmm. after the Intimidate. And, and Moonblast is going to finish off the Buzz Wall easily, since he does not carry the Assault Vest. Mm -hmm. Showing the Fighting MZ and Celestila will Heavy Slam into the Snorlax slot. It's going to take a lot of recovery from that Snorlax, huge HP stack. But Double H in return onto the Fini. Recycle, oh, so recycle. finally. S and I think Hafiz might have this with the Recycle Snorlax alone. It's hard to see Chelsea having a way around it beyond come mining for 3 or 4 turns and I don't think Nihiligo is going to allow that to happen. Mm, indeed. Because Hafiz I think Nihiligo might even, oh actually not after the Blade Witch Seed. But uh, Lele Thunderbolt should do the job, even after this recovery. Yeah, and Thunderbolt isn't too bad against uh, Fini as well, hitting it super effectively. So, if Hafiz does have the Lele, it will explain why he's stuck stuck his buzzword around so long. He doesn't want to risk the But Nightly going to come in here. I, I think Hafiz is worried about Thunderbolt not doing enough, mm. since the Leech Seed recovered a lot of HP. Well, fair enough. So, but Nightly Go does have to fear the Heavy Slam here. He Sash, so... But unfortunately for him... Yeah, but if he Sash, that means he doesn't have enough firepower to take out the Fini which could contribute damage to take it out. 
Yeah, the problem for Nidigo here is that the danger is that the Fini attacks first and brings Nidigo down yes, to the and, red and, and then Celestia finishes gets off. the Beast Bulls. Yes. Oh, I suspect Chelsea is going to protect here though. Okay, no just protect. Just goes for the Sludge Bomb. Fini going to take a Sludge Bomb without any Carmine Boost. Doesn't even get his berry. Oh no, does just get the nice berry. into the berry range. Well, somehow, the place just worked out. Mm -hmm. As Tabu Fini going to go for the Muddy Water. That's, the, that's them to both connect. No misses there. Nyligo going to have his Sash broken. Sonai takes a little bit of chip. And Heavy Stamp will finish the job on Nyligo. Ooh, critical hit. I don't that think that will matter. matter. Yeah. Heavy Stamp going to finish the job regardless. What mattered was the breaking of the Sash here. And what kind of boost will Celestia get? Should be the special defense, right? If it's defense all, then Snice is gonna have an even harder time bringing it down. I don't think Snice wants to bring it down, though. It's gonna be the special, special defense. defense. So Alright. Snice not gonna be threatened. As Double Edge will pick off the Fini at this range. Uh, neutral though. Uh, not, not enough. Yeah. yeah, not enough. He's now you have to wonder whether Hafiz could have gotten away with more than one curse in the previous game. Indeed, uh, there was a. I think but there was now, a time with the oh, protect. Now Lily forced to come in against an even healthier Celestia. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think a bit of a waste opportunity. Hafiz has had time to curse more than once, at the, and he hasn't really taken the chunk, taken the opportunities too. And it's coming back to bite him as it is the Lele at the back. The clearly inferior op uh, option here. And I wonder why he brought it at all, seeing how it's not exactly the best option against the rest of Chelsea's team. Yeah, and not only that, if you think Celestila has more HP than before, it also has a special defense boost. So it's even harder for the Lele to so inflict significant protect, amount of damage. It's very easy to protect for Fini here. Since Fini is the only thing that can really threaten Snorlax yeah. if he starts curs cursing up further. And it's just gonna protect here. Yeah. So Hafiz needs to. At this point, is it even worth getting damage to Celestia? You need to paralyze it. It's not just gonna go for Moon Blast. As Snorlax is gonna recycle, Heavy Slam will pick off the double Lele. And it's gonna be Snorlax against the world. It's not out of the ch opportunity, but Snorlax needs more than one curse at this point. Not only that, it, it, it can't really find the time to curse as well. He has to weave in recycles because of the leash. It's just draining so much HP away. Not only that, Fini now able to fire off attacks as well. Snorlax there going for the recycle. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think he should have perhaps brought an Arcanine instead? But to threaten the Celestia even more? Arcanine would definitely have it's not so much that whether or not what would have been better. As in, as in I really don't see why you bring Lady at all. Hmm. Can't really hurt the, the Fini gets the ring control. Tokyo Maru resists psychic. Has Zing Z to actually hit you for pretty hard. Celestia is gonna destroy you all day long. I think so. Gas from his scarf and might even outspeed you. Why? I think it's solely just for the terrain control. Yeah, aside from that, I can't think of any other reason. It's, it's not a scarf variant, right? The Lele? Ooh, okay. Hafiz needs to get rid of the Tapu Fini this turn. Okay, Flame Troll coming up from Celestia. No. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's just too much damage with only one curse on board. They're not even hitting it in the, on the defense stat. And so now the, 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 the next combined attack is going to take out the Snorlax. And here we go. Sleezy will take away more HP from Snorlax. Yeah, combination of Moonblast and Flame Thrower is going to finish off the Snorlax. Mm -hmm. he, needed a, he needed the second curse earlier in the game. This is too little too late for Snorlax. Yeah, they teamed it from uh, Chelsea's Arcanine also. Not a long way in uh, stopping Snorlax from getting key KOs here. Yeah, he, I, I don't think Hafiz has a very good answer to Celestia. I think he recognized that he could always end game it with Snorlax. But he's going to get Snorlax up fast enough. And Moonblast is going to KO Snorlax at this point. To <laughs> get Snorlax up fast enough. Snorlax, Snorlax is just so slow. We'll go down and Chelsea will take the first game. Yeah, just not the most ideal of game plans. Maybe Huff is not spending as much time as he could during this lunch break to puzzle out the ins and outs of this particular matchup. Mm. As Chelsea is just going to sit behind a Celestia and force Huff to find an answer. And he didn't bring his best answer in the Arcanine. Is this Arcanine a more defensive variant or does it have things like Fire Emblem? It's very, yeah. Okay, but I, I still think because of the Celestia showing that it has more um, EVs and stats in the special defense, I think physical attacks will be more punishing. Does have to worry about the Intimidate coming out from um, Chelsea's own Arcanine. The thing about it is that Hafiz can always punish the Arcanine mm. with, with uh, its offensive attack because all of the Pokemon he likes to keep on the field, the Snorlax has high horsepower, the but so we saw hammers the Arcanine even at minus one superpower does 40 to 45 percent. Mm -hmm. That's been that's a good chunk to Arcanine considering the intimidate just your count your, your factoring in intimidate. So Chelsea can't always can't play Arcanine safely in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I think Basso might even be faster than Arcanine. Um Yeah, I think so. I think the superpower fired off before the Arcanine could move. So Harvest needs to recognize that and, and and he has to change it up. I don't think the Lele should be coming back. Lele is not offering him any uh, sort of threat. Buzzwool seems to be the right idea. Threatening with the Phytanium Z. 
But uh, we saw Bastos forced to stay on the field and get knocked out. Whereas if they had Arcanine had if they had Arcanine at the back, Arcanine would have switched into a moon blast and a and a heavy, heavy slam. slam. Yeah, also you can take that for an, at least another turn. It does have to okay. Another thing I think that's stopping Hafiz from bringing the Arcanine is the bravery. With that defiant, you don't really want to risk giving it a boost. But Although I don't know is if so useless in yeah. the matchup. And Chelsea doesn't seem to have any indication of bringing it, so I guess Hafiz might adjust here with Darkenai. That would be a more I mean, you, you don't lead it, obviously. Yeah. As bravery go uh, okay. <laughs> it is the bravery Gachom. So As no Celestia. Hafiz don't adjust. Please don't lead Darkenai. Oh, he's the Nihiligo Arcanine. Is all is not lost, I guess. The Nihiligo can perhaps kill the bravery. I mean, Hafiz clearly had to adjust there, but to lead the Arcanine. When Arcanine wasn't really needed in the previous lead matchup anyway. Hmm. All let's is not, not Let's not forget Chelsea left Fini in game one. In game one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess putting the Arcanine behind would have been more would have been better. But well, Chelsea does catch the Arcanine in the lead. Gets a plus one to the breviary. Um In terms of speed, Nightly Go is faster. Perhaps can KO with a combination of extreme speed and power gem, but I think Chelsea's just gonna try to protect the bird. And oh man, Nahiligo once again threatened by the Gachom. Things not looking too good for Hafiz here. Once again. Okay, Nahiligo goes for the protect. Hoping to catch the bravery and the protect as well. Mm -hmm. And or to avoid the earthquake of course. Bravery as bravery does will protect. go for the protect. Now, if Hafiz is willing to waste this to be the turn to use it. As Gachom will go for earthquake. He's not gonna kill after intimidate. Gonna do a good chunk though. Akanai probably hoping for berry. I don't even think of bringing to berry range. I mean it is super effective stat, but intimidated and the spread. Oh that was that's a lot of damage. That was a critical hit. Oh man. Not even time to show the Willow Wisp. If it had it. Well, half is just not getting luck of the draw there. Yeah. I think that's been the that's been the nature of the games for Chelsea so far. Yeah. Dash of luck here and there. Because you have to imagine how that uh, Arcanine was going for the Willow Wisp. Yeah. He was staying in front of the Gachom. And uh -huh, Buzzwo facing town a plus one bravery. Not gonna enjoy taking that four times weak brave bird. Nahiligo has to take out the 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 the, the, the bravery at this point, but yeah, I'm but not sure. Not, it yeah, can. it doesn't have to life up. It's looking somewhat unlikely. Even and, and you must you must also remember, bravery does have the Z crystal. So even if Buzzword protects, significant amount of damage could be dealt through the protect with a plus one. They will KO. Yeah, actually no, it won't KO. Buzzword's defense is good enough, just about. But it will put even more pressure. I mean, even though Earthquake isn't doing a lot of damage. Gachom has to switch out here. But you're supposed to do pin the Nihiligo still. I, I don't know. I think Gachom saying is fine. You're just getting free yeah, more and out, more though. damage. So Nihiligo okay. is going to be free to act this turn. Another Steela coming in, alright? At least has to stay in, at the very least. Hmm. Nihiligo. Going to... Oh, Bravery going to switch out. So double switch there. Bravery going to give up his boost and... Double going to send Fini into a potential... Power gem. Power gem. Or, yeah, a power gem from most likely. Okay. <laughs> Insane read to go for Slash Bomb there. Yep. And we do see the Power Jam come out. Oh but no speed. protect from Buzzword though. What is it what is it going for? Ice Punch into the Gachom slot? Yeah, it is going to be Ice Punch. Yeah, I think Hafiz was just oh counting. No, it wasn't. It goes into the Bravery. I mean, oh, that oh. makes sense too. Yeah, actually, is yeah, think about it. Maybe Hafiz is confident enough in his own Buzzword that he maybe thought he could double into it and be faster than the Bravery. And I think Fini now is in kill range for Slash Bomb. I should point out that um, Bravery is... And Chelsea did bring Arcanine to intimidate the Buzzword. You're right. Uh, her, her mons are just gacha on bravery. So from a fantastic it. start, catching the bravery where she wanted it, and getting the critical hit on the Arcanine, which was likely about to burn her scarf gacha. Mm. Hafiz in a much better position. I mean, barring scarf offside coming <laughs> later <laughs> in the game, but Chelsea kind of playing herself in a bit of a hole as Celestia going to eat a, uh, a fallout pummeling on this turn. Okay, the protect will come out. No, Celestia protect, protect as well. So a very safe play from Chelsea, trying to force Hafiz to burn that Z crystal. As power gem comes out into the Celestia. Oh, I think he doubled into it. Fall out pummeling. Ah, yes. He did. Oh, that's a wasted Z move. It's a lot of damage that's been mitigated here by Chelsea. Yeah, so Hafiz uh, does call the Lightly Fini protect. Fortunately, Chelsea covering all her bases by protecting Celestia as well. And I mean, that I is, again, Hafiz's most efficient way. Especially since Akana has really been out, taken out with the critical hit. Yes. And now, with one of his most powerful moves in his arsenal being Expanded, wasted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, look at the damage. Dealer. Oh, that's not what you want. That's not what you want at all. Leftover is going to recover some of that damage as well. So, I mean, I, I don't disagree with that play. Hafiz did try to prioritize the Celestia, but Chelsea noticed that as well. 
noticed that Arcanine was down, that his, her, his only reliable way of inflicting significant damage to the Celesteal was the all-out pummeling, successfully baits out the Z-move. And yeah, po potentially only had only with the Snorlax at the back, not gonna offer any immediate offensive threat. Yeah, I think Chelsea can switch in and out here to try to catch some of Hafiz's predictable moves, such as like the Slush Bomb going into the Fini, perhaps switching the Garchomp there to take the hit. Yeah, Snarly gonna protect itself hmm. from the likely heavy slam. Interesting. I mean, Bowser trying to pick up the Fini with Poison Ooh, Jab. Okay. Here comes Poison Jab, but Fini extremely bulky, and with still a good amount of HP remaining. It's gonna go down, oh. and that's the base boost, and all of a sudden, Superpower is looking at 60% on Celeste Dealer. And Gachom is no, and the, the biggest threat to Buzzo is, oh wait, that's bravery, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> Flamethrower does come out, so it does catch the Buzzo, inflicting nice amounts of damage here. Oh no goodness. burn because of the Misty Terrain. That's a lot of damage though. Mm, yes, uh, Buzzo, physically bulky, but unfortunately, Jim doesn't make your special defense any higher. So, bravery has to come in here because Gachom doesn't offer any sort of threat on the Buzzo. Oh, unless she wants to special slide, but um, let's not go there, mm. please. Oh it's the Gachom. I suppose you want to Fire Fang at this point, and you hope it's enough. Um, huh. I really don't agree because unless you're so confident your bravery is slower than the Buzzwall, you send your Gachom in to a Buzzwall, and you hope that Fire Fang is enough. I suppose. Well, I guess you try to bait the. Also, it's gonna protect though. Buzzwall to. Ice Punch the Gachom maybe and get Rock Skin damage, but even then that seems a bit iffy. But if you're Hafiz, you're like, Chelsea just send the Gachom into my Buzzo, there's no way she, that means she wants to press Fire Fang. Hmm. So is that a bait? Does she bait it successfully? It remains to be seen. If the Earthquake does come out and Buzzo protects, then she gets what she wants. Hmm. As he does just go for Earthquake, but the Buzzo doesn't protect itself. And the Buzzo is going to get the Ice Punch off on Gachom, I think. Or even the Super Power on Celestia. Like. Okay, a lot of damage on the Nihiligo, bringing it down to his sash here. Heavy Slam should be finishing off the Nihiligo, but not before it acts. Critical hit on Nihiligo doesn't matter, it's 4 times weak anyway. As Tanya goes for the power jam into the Celestealer. Gonna get the damage. Oh, a double up into that slot? Yeah, Here comes Super Power, it's going into the Celestealer. And that's gonna be the KO with the Beast Boost. Does get an attack drop, but I think he'll she'll take it. Although now the Bravery and Gachom combo. Uh, Bravery being immune to Earthquake, so Gachom, I think locking itself into Earthquake is pretty fine for it. And outspeeds everything. And although, yes, Buzzwall doesn't. Um, doesn't mind taking Earthquake, but at that HP range, I don't think he can hang on for much longer. Mm. Buzzwall is going to take one more Earthquake though. So it, it might just come down to whether Bravery can outspeed the Buzzwall, because Ice Punch is going to finish off Gachom. Mm. Even with the even with the Super Power Defense drop, we saw Earthquake do... 20? I think I think it is enough to pick off the Buzzwall. Earthquake resisted? At minus one? I don't think it's enough of a multiplier though. I mean, if Bravery outspeeds, then this is an entirely immaterial yeah, discussion. Yeah, correct. But I think it can survive. Earthquake will finish off the, uh, the Nihiligo here. So For Buzzwall sure. going to take the Earthquake at one reduced stage of defense. Is and it does go down. Hmm. I mean, Buzzwall's defense is high. <sighs> I... Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we will never truly know. I'm pretty sure it survives. <laughs> and, well, Bravery didn't even go for the KO on Buzzwall. Goes for the Tailwind instead. Oh well, once again I think, uh, I mean, I would argue that since Buzzball's defense stat is so high, any drop in defense is significant. We saw the damage the first Earthquake did. The second amount was not going to be enough, even after the Super Power drop. Oh well. And she didn't even attack with the Bravery. Yeah, she sent, she went for the Tailwind. Which meant if Ice Punch went off, that was game. Bravery but can't fight Snorlax one-on-one. -on -one. Curse is going to out, 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 out boost it, but now, now this is entirely immaterial discussion because now the bravery is just going to go for the Super Sonic Sky Strike. Yeah, and um, it's not going to enjoy taking single target earthquakes as well from the Gachom. So it's just going to have to keep cursing. Oh, it's still it's still spread because bravery is counted. Oh, as okay. The, the target. But that's still damage, and uh, you have uh, Sonic yeah, yeah, is a single target beast, so and it doesn't have the curse boost yet. As Sky Strike is going to come out here, and at the very at the very least activate the berry, might even get the KO straight out. Yeah, it really depends on how much defensive investment Hafiz has put into his Snorlax. The Tailwind was absolutely no, there was no purpose to the Tailwind there. Yes. Snorlax was always at the back. If there was anything other than the Snorlax at the back, it would have come in earlier. So why Tailwind? She would have thrown the game away if not for the critical hit. Yeah, well. That's a lot of damage, not enough. We'll recover it all back with the berry. And we'll recycle the berry. Oh, I like that play. Yeah, a decent, uh, decent, uh, decent hit, because the Earthquake is going to guarantee it to activate the berry. Yes. Oh, barring another critical hit. 
You never know. Oh, I know. Apparently, the game knows. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. it's gonna be the earthquake once again. It's gonna yes. activate the, the system like new found berry, and now is the time for it to curse. Really? I would. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's another critical hit. Will force will trigger the berry. It was gonna trigger the berry regardless, but yeah, that was way too much damage. And once once again, it's. Uh, mm. I hope I hope Hafiz press recycle. No, he has to. This turn he has to curse. He has to keep up with damage. Uh, no, he has to recycle. And I think he cursed, and he cursed, he and, the, and the critical hit is going to end his end his end his tournament run. Oh well, that is truly unfortunate here. Because there is no way, even with the curse boost, earthquake is still going to do enough damage to bring it within. I think paper at this point is enough. Never, I never mind the earthquake. I think Hafiz should keep pressing recycle because of course you try. Not, not only that, you can't survive. You yeah, look at the upkeep damage. Maybe single target, and it's gonna finish off the Snorlax here. Go for the super power. power. No, which you had gone for previously to get a KO anyway. But no. <laughs> what? What? Okay. What? What I'm gonna say is that Snorlax should try to stall it out because the uh, Garchomp is choice locked. You can force it to struggle, and uh, Bravery doesn't have any attacks that doesn't have any detriment to itself. Brave Bird causes recoil. Super power drops its attack, drops its defense as well. If Snorlax can slowly stall it out, no, it doesn't really need the curse boost. It just needs to hang on until uh, Chelsea has run out of fire power. In that situation, yes. the curse was very safe. Yeah, barring the critical hit, uh, Yes. And the moment you get one curse off, then the immediately the game swings in your favor because then there's no way you break recycle. Aside from critical hits. Yes. <laughs> so our our champion for Singapore Open is gonna be Chelsea Tan, triumphing over Muhammad Hafiz in a. Uh, 2-0 victory. What ended up being a lopsided set, thanks to some unfortunate rolls in game two. Yeah. Four half hits. Ah. Uh, so I honestly don't think there's much else to be said yeah. after that uh, set. This, this is the game we play, honestly. 6.25%. Happening three times on crucial moments. Yes. Uh, I, I know how you feel, Vettel. I know how you feel. <laughs> Not quite the quality <laughs> of games I was expecting to see today. Well, I'll have to I will have to console myself with yes. some other sets we've seen today. <laughs> Hopefully, the mid-season showdown will show some uh, allow us to watch a better level of play as well. But <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea does win the Nintendo Switch and 200 championship points, earning herself the stipend to Melbourne next year. So, uh, good luck going. Eh. <laughs> the, the date is not exactly the, the most. <laughs> the, mo no, the date for the Melbourne International Challenge is not the most w ideal. When is it again? February was it? Start of February. Ah oh, man, school terms and all that will come into play. I'm not sure even if Chelsea can go because of, of school and all that. I mean, we haven't we haven't actually heard Chelsea be particularly concerned about school commitments ever. Mm. I suppose <laughs> the, the the parents might disagree. Nah, uh, yeah, not a not a good example to her siblings. I think they might say. Ah, that is it is <laughs> what it is. Um, so that concludes um the Singapore Open. Uh, one of the major tournaments here at CGF, I have to say, uh, nice venue. Although, uh, I think they need a beverage sponsor. Seriously, a Nescafe Monster well. or something. I mean, I'm saying it because I feel a bit thirsty. That's all. And we will be moving on to an interview with the winner of that series, I believe. Uh, yeah, oh, be with the Hafiz. Yeah, the yeah. Of Hafiz. So, we'll be interviewing both. Uh, Hafiz first, followed by Chelsea. So, stay tuned. Yep. We are back at the Campus Game Fest, our Singapore Open final, and our, especially our losing finalist here is Mohamed Hafiz from Indonesia, who has made a storming run all the way to the final. Unfortunately, his run ends here. Second place, still a, a very healthy 160 uh, championship, 180 championship point haul, I believe. Potentially, oh, yeah. s still in running with the stipend to Melbourne, perhaps. Hopefully, uh, I can get the stipend. Yes, so uh, that was still congrats. And uh, yeah. any what more is to be said? That was a rather unfortunate game too for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
you know Sarasila is a really big problem for my team uh, with Scarfcham and you know what uh, Bravery it's a uh, it's just too much for my team. So I think on game two, was your were you trying to? I think you went, your Arcanine stayed in. Were you trying to will a wish the Gacha? Yeah. yeah uh, so, but unfortunately, got the crit there, which really swung the game. Unfortunately, in one and that was and, and unfortunately, it was only one of many. Yeah, but I think I think game one, you know, I, game one, I'm kind of curious because I think you in the end you realized that how how un, how what a poor matchup it was for your Tapu Lele. So, but why do you choose to why did you choose to bring it in, in game one to begin with? Uh, do Tapu Lele, you, you mean? Do Tapu Lele? Yeah. Uh, I just all want to uh, kill Ripens the Celestia with Thunderbolt. Yeah, but then I think you saw once you got the beast boost, then you couldn't get the KO anymore. Yeah, uh. But I think there was one turn where Celestia hadn't been hadn't gotten his boost yet when you chose to bring in Nihiligo instead of the Celestia, or uh, instead of instead of the Lele. Do you think maybe if you had tried to Thunderbolt on that turn, it might have been enough? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, yeah. The by looks of it, I think you could. It was really clear that you didn't think it was enough, and based on HP, I think Celestia was almost 60. <laughs> which would have been very tough for a Thunderbolt to get the KO there. So unfortunately, the Celestia was too much for your team to handle. And you tried to adjust in game 2, you switched up to the Arcanine. But unfortunately, the, 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 the Earthquake crit immediately removed it from the field. I, goes, I mean, surely, I mean, I mean, even if you assume you didn't get crit, you still had to land the Will of Waste. I mean, first things first. Yep. But if you had landed, of course, then the game would have been pretty different. Because immediately Gachom's attack output gets shut down. Yep. And the Nihiligo might doesn't even go to Sash, so yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately the game is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so still a very strong showing. Still in running for the stipend. Congrats yeah. once again. Congrats. Uh, I will go to Malaysia Open next month. Oh yeah, we, so I will we will we will see you there. Yeah. Hopefully but un unfortunately the Malaysia Open uh, it will be after the cutoff for the stipend. Yeah, so oh, really? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, we cut off this month I think so. Yeah. But but you've got you've got this this got this finish under your belt. And the only big tournament in the region, so perhaps it would be enough. We'll see. Cross fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. And we uh, wish you luck in Malaysia as well, though not if you're not if you're playing against me, but hey. Thank you. <laughs> so once again, uh, this is our uh, losing finalist Mohammed Hafiz, a very strong yep. run, a very dom dominant sets in top eight and top four. Unfortunately, in top in finals, a slightly more difficult matchup for your team to handle, and not the best of roles as well. So, but this 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 is the game we play, and once again, a very strong run. Yeah. Congratulations to Hafiz here, our Thank second you. place run up with a strong championship point showing take home a trophy as well uh, do we have this trophy not yet right yeah so once, once again this is Mohamed Hafiz your losing finalist and we will be back with the interview with the winner Chelsea Tan so stay tuned Welcome back. With us, we have the winner of the finals for the Singapore Open, the champion Chelsea Tan. So first off, congratulations on your win. Um, so what, what were some of the thoughts you had while you were fighting Hafiz? I, 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 was just, I was just going with the flow. I, yeah. So you didn't really have a game plan or you just, you just picked mods that you felt were more... Uh, yeah, I, 
basically I just speak once that I fell on the <laughs> Okay, you just have to speak a bit louder, I think, or no? Oh, it's the other way around. Okay. okay. So um then what sort of uh what sort of Pokemon do you think was uh more valuable against the matchup against Huffies then? Uh definitely Celestila because of the Nile Ligo and mm. Tapu Lele. Did you um face Hafiz at all before in the Swiss? No. Or so you uh were a bit uncertain about his movesets or his items, perhaps? Uh because I had a friend who like fought him before, so yeah, I sort of like know his stuff. Some information from me. Yeah. Okay, I see. So what do you think was the biggest threat on his team for you? Basically the Naidigo. Okay. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because uh it can do super effective damage to like Finny and Bravery. Okay, and uh, you I see that you're also running a scuff chomp. Uh, yeah. I would say a rather. I mean, people would say it's good, but I only see scuff chomp value as in the scuff rock slide. But have you found any value in it? Uh, not just in this match, but perhaps in the rest of the tournament. Yeah. Um. So basically, Garchomp can be like a late game sweeper. I can just like bring in Garchomp and spam earthquakes. Yeah, and actually, <laughs> I think it's. A pretty good com combination considering you have two flying types with the Celestila and the Bravery yeah. as well. To be honest, I wouldn't. The only reason I, I had Scarf Chomp is because of Bravery. I felt that like Scarf Chomp and Bravery was a very good combination. More flexible to use the, your step earthquake. Yeah. Am I right? Well, um, in your set against Ellen, I see. I also noticed that you were not <laughs> even if your partner was not immune to earthquake, you wouldn't hesitate to press earthquake anyway. So, uh, <laughs> I mean. Granted, at that point, you did trigger the berries for both RK9 and Fini. So there was a sort of a method to your madness. But uh, okay, moving forward. So um, where will we be going from here? I mean, with all this CP, with this stipend, will you be going to Melbourne, perhaps? I'm not sure. I mean, I have to convince my parents because they don't really want me playing. So. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, good luck convincing your parents then. And um, thank you so much for watching. I think this concludes the our tournament, Singapore Open. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be streaming some of the matches later from MSS, uh, so the stream should continue, but uh, Singapore Open will conclude with Chelsea Tan as the winner. So once again, congratulations and stay tuned.